Consolata Missionaries is an international Roman Catholic congregation of priests, brothers and sisters. I'm Father Peter Macau. I'm currently the regional superior of Consolata Missionaries here in Kenya and Uganda because Kenya and Uganda forms one, one region. Established on 29th of January 1901 in Turin, Italy by the beatified Italian priest Blessed Joseph Alamano, this congregation of religious men is founded on the charism of Mission Agentis, which signifies missioning to people. We are consulted missionaries because we are an international congregation which was founded in Italy by one of the uh, the big uh, man of the church called Blessed Joseph Alamano. He founded this congregation in the year 1901. Himself was coming from Italy, the northern part of Italy, that is in Turin, and he was a Dalsitian uh, uh, priest. And he worked in this uh, diocese for seven years as a formator of, uh, of priests. And later he was also went to, to work in the the shrine of Consolata in Turin, where he was there for more than 46, uh, 46 years. So as Consolata missionaries, ours is missionary adjentes, or mission to the peoples. We are called to go to the peoples, and very particular kind of people. Mostly those who have not heard the word of God, or those who have really not, they have not been rooted well in Christ. So we are there to accompany them. And we just don't go to accompany them like that. We have a very particular methodology from our founder, Blessed Joseph Alamano. And the methodology is very simple, human promotion. True to this charism, consolata priests accept the vocational call and pledge themselves publicly and perpetually to the service of God and mankind by taking the vows of consecrated chastity, poverty, and obedience. As a religious in the Consolata congregation, we are taking the three vows. That is the vow of obedience, the vow of chastity, and the vow of poverty. After finishing all that, you will have a special moment. We call it a year of service. Just a moment to be in the mission. As you prepare to be ordained a deacon, you will take your final vows. Then you will be ordained a deacon. After being ordained a deacon, you will ordain the priest. And that is it. We can say you are now going to start your life as a Consolata missionary. These missionary priests came to Kenya in the year 1902 and celebrated the first official mass on the 29th of June 1902 in Tudu, the now Catholic diocese of Moranga. Alipoanzisha shirika lake kule Italia, aliwatumwa wanne wao kuja Africa aswa Kenya na walipokuja wakasema misa ya kwanza mwaka wa 1992 pale Tudu Moranga. The consolata missionaries have established praises in several countries across the world as they seek to reach out to the most remote places to evangelize and promote humanity. Currently, there are hundreds of consolata missionaries in four different continents of the world, including Africa, Asia, America, and Europe. A congregation which has its, its aim to go to the whole world to announce the gospel of the Lord and this is what we call the mission Adjentes. We come from all over the world. We have members from four continents of the world who form part of the Consolata missionaries and also we work wherever in the world. The first aim was to go to Ethiopia because there was a lot of need but given that he couldn't enter to Ethiopia those years that's why he sent the first four missionaries here in Kenya. Hapa seminarini, mwaka huu, tuna vijana hamsin na nne. Hawa vijana, katika darasa la kwanza, kuna vijana kumi na wawili. Watatu, wakutoka Uganda, na wengine, wakutoka Kenya. Katika darasa la pili, kuna vijana kumi na watano. Watatu, wametoka Uganda, na wengine, wametoka Kenya. Moja, ametoka gine bisao. Alafu katika darasa la mwisho la tatu eh, kuna vijana 28 na moja umetoka Uganda wengine umetoka moja umetoka eh, Eswatini 
katika nchi pale karibu na ya South Africa alafu kuna moyo kuna wengine wa Kenya This congregation continues to spread its wings to other nations and continents to serve the neglected and underprivileged groups Currently we as consortia missionaries we are scattered in so many places here in Kenya and also in Uganda We are here in Kenya we are in uh, in the Archdiocese of Nairobi where we have four parishes we are also in the Archdiocese of of Mombasa where we have also uh, three parishes we are also in the Archdiocese of Nyeri where we have a parish and a formation house we are also in the Archdiocese of uh, Kisumu where we have also three parishes and also in the in the Diocese of Nyaururu the Diocese of uh, Marsabit the Diocese of Maralal the uh, uh, the apostolic uh, vicariate of Isiolo and so many other dioceses where we continue with our missionary agendas that is evangelization and human promotion uh, we have like more than 150 missionaries outside Kenya that is doing missionary work human promotion are concrete projects that we carry forward it can be education it can be working in the health sector it can be accompanying communities which are abandoned or groups of human beings who are vulnerable we do several projects to accompany these people so that they can feel that god consoles and saves his people not only in heaven but it begins here on earth just as the lord's prayer tells us in consolata we have divided the region and the region is Kenya Uganda so we have divided the region into four animation areas one is Chewanga that is taking the area of Uganda two we have the Kisumu zone or the Kisumu zone which is taking the whole of the metropolitan of Kisumu that is including the areas like Homa Bay Kisi Kisumu itself Bungoma, Kakamega, Kitale, Eldoret, Lord, are going those way. And partly up to Nakuru here. Then we have the Nairobi zone. Then we have the Meru zone where it is in Runogone. So uh, myself, I'm in charge of the western part. Though we work as one office, we have one coordination. Here in Kenya, the priests work in different places, missioning to the sick, elderly, orphans, and the poor. Because the founder he reminds us always that we should not only be concerned by taking people to heaven, but we should also make them happy in this world in which they live. And the only way to make them happy in the world in which they live is by promoting them humanly. This institution that we have very good relationship with the fathers and everybody around, we have made them friends that we can work together to improve their lives of those who are coming in and those who are going out to do evangelization all over the world. This is the starting point for evangelization and so we have to bring them up and to do a good thing for them, to show them how to work and to produce for themselves from the garden, from the workshops and from other places where we can earn little money to support the seminary. Lengo la shirika letu ni utangazaji wa injili kwa mataifa haswa kwa watu ambao hawajafahamu Mungu. Na hilo ndio jukumu la wamisionari wa Konsolata wanafanya kazi katika maeneo mbalimbali haswa katika mashule, katika mahospitali, tunafanya pia kazi na watoto yatima, tunafanya kazi katika maeneo ambapo injili haijawahi fika hata mara moja. Tunafanya kazi pia na wakongwe na watoto ambao labda wangependa upendo wa wazazi. Consolata missionaries have a clear guideline and prerequisite requirements for young men who seek to consecrate their lives to serve God as missionaries. As a young man, you might be really interested in joining us. You might be really interested in becoming part of this interesting family and international family. And the process is very simple. First of all, you must have done your form four if you are in Kenya. And if you are in Uganda, you should have done your sixth form. So if those who are in Kenya, for example, will be watching this and listening to us now, you, after, after finishing your KCSE, you must have minimum of C+. Plus. And you know that C+, plus in the Kenya, is the minimum entry to the university. Because as you enter in the system, 
you will be doing your degrees in philosophy and in theology, so you need to have a university qualification of a C+. Plus. But sometimes you understand, okay, you didn't get the C+, plus, and you have a C, a, a C plane, for example. What happens in that case, and you want to call to be a priest, and you feel like joining consulata, fine, we say, okay, try to get at least a diploma and accompany it with that C plane. So if you have a C plane with a diploma, then you have academic qualification to join us as consulate. As it is the tradition in the Roman Catholic religious congregations, aspirants have to go through different phases of vocational life, popularly known as stages of religious formation. These include prepostulancy, postulancy, prenovitiate, novitiate, and ultimately the final perpetual vows or solemn profession. Generally, when we talk about the preparation for young people to become missionaries in future, we talk about formation. And this formation has different stages. In the first place, there is the stage where the young person becomes mm, aware of the missionary institute, that is the consolata missionaries. After the three years of uh, philosophy, one graduates with a degree in philosophy and later on enters the stage of novitiate. It is a stage of deepening the spirituality of the Catholic Church, the spirituality of Christianity, the spirituality of the Institute, and also deepen that aspect of prayer and the spirit of work, our characteristics that will allow this person to make an authentic and hardworking missionary. After that, of course, there are theological studies which may be done in various countries where we have theological houses in different continents. Here in Africa, we have two theological seminaries. In Europe, we have now three of them. And in Latin America, we have three formation houses. That is in Colombia, in Brazil, and in Argentina. And then after those stages of formation, of course, one receives the ministry, makes the vows, and after the vows is ordained the deacon, and eventually ordained the priest, and then afterwards, of course, is deployed to a mission. The Consolata Missionary Seminary in the Archdiocese of Nairobi has always been and continues to be a home to many religious men who are nurtured to be of great service to God and humanity through mission work. One of the reasons which make me to join Consolata, it is a very, very important because Consolata is in a bigger congregation and uh, they have uh, something which is call family spirit. And uh, I can say this uh, touched me a lot. And uh, they are characteristic of mission, which is uh, mission agentes, which I like. Because I can say, uh, as the gospel used to say, you, you are given you for grace and you can also give for grace. I feel that I was served by the consolata missionaries who come to my camp to preach the gospel. And I received, through them I received this gospel. And this also, I feel that I, Marciano, as I feel my call, I want to share this my a vocational experience through other people as those consolata missionary do as i say the mission agentes to teach people who are never heard about the gospel my name is dennis Numu from the catholic diocese of machakos tala parish i am currently a consolata postulant and a third year student at consolata institute of philosophy I started my vocational journey with Consolata missionaries in the year 2017, whereby I was sent to Nyeri Propadutic, called Alamano Formation Center. In the year 2018, I was sent to Consolata Seminary, where I am now, a third year student. I was sent to do my philosophical studies. Here, the first year is made for self-knowledge, you come to know your talents, your abilities. 
the second year it is for self formation now after you have known your abilities and your talents you are assisted to apply them in different dimensions and different areas the last year which is the third year it is for self giving now after you have been given now the opportunity to explore now they check whether you can explore on your own and i can say that uh, seminary life assists someone to grow spiritually socially and even humanly it has been a great uh, privilege and an important time for me to spend here as members of this community celebrate the golden jubilee this year 2021 marking 50 years since the consolata missionary seminary was started the congregation's leaders proudly note how this missionary institute has been vital in preparing and equipping seminarians for missionary life and work i came to nairobi precisely in this seminary where we are celebrating the 50 years the golden years of the seminary so in this seminary i studied philosophy this institute is not just a place for vocational call discernment but also an epitome of holistic growth for the prospective missionaries providing a conducive environment for seminarians to interact with their formators and learn from them as they grow spiritually mentally and physically i can say that uh, many things I have learned from this institution whereby I'm formed intellectually by the studies that we usually undergo human formation social formation yeah just to say that we are formed in all aspects of life it assists someone to grow both intellectually humanly socially and also it helps you to be stable in life in that when you come here you are assisted by the formators who are priests people who have experience in different areas to know whether you have a vocation that year is meant for one to discern properly because maybe at home you might not have had a conducive environment to discern so they are the priests present there they assist you to know to know whether you have a vocation or not so for the men outside there it is good to join when you have an inclination to this kind of a life and you have the love for the church the gates to this congregation and seminary are always open for young men who are called to serve as missionaries and ready to uphold the mission agentis charism by emulating their founder blessed joseph alamano's way of life i remember on those time when i arrived we were 74 seminarians with uh, different nationalities others from uh, uganda others from kenya and one from uh, swaziland and the one from yeah, that is me from guinea bissau my word to the young people is that consolata is the best place to be whereby the formators listens to you everybody listens to you you are given the right you exercise the right of expression whereby you learn each and everything you acquire the skills that one that one requires to live a good and a happy life being in the consolata institution or the consolata seminary is the best place you can be i have worked with the seminary for the past 22 years now since i i completed my college and i cannot regret working with them all others have worked the same and they can attest that they are doing wonders in the seminary here you learn how to live how to pray how to earn for yourself and how to support others outside maybe you are asking father how can we reach you i think that might be some of you are interested in that and it, it reaching us is very simple you can reach us the traditional way that is through the post office to the vocations director consolata missionaries po box 1375 kisumu you can send us an email to Consolata missionaries kisumu@gmail.com
or find us on Facebook at Consolata Missionaries Kisumu, Meru Metropolitan, to the animator, Consolata Animation Center, P.O. Box 3181-60200, Meru. In Uganda, to the Vocations Animator, Consolata Missionaries, P.O. Box 40088, Nakawa, Kampala. You can also reach us via WhatsApp number 0707636631, Nairobi and Mombasa Metropolitans. To MVA Office, Kenya, P.O. Box 14861-08. 00 Nairobi or call us on 07361012298 You can also find us on Twitter at Nikoma2010 or Facebook page Consolata Missionaries Animation Email mvaofficekenya at gmail.com Through those means is easy to get us or any of our parish just go or come to the seminary they will always direct you wherever you are the consolata missionaries appeal to all well wishes to help support the formation of a future missionary priest or brother send your support to pay bill number 7624067 account name your name or to stand big bank westlands branch Account name Consolata Seminary Jubilee Account number 01000078563355 Help train a missionary today